Man, so this has been a long journey for you guys, man. Uh, I'm excited to be back with you guys. Uh, Athens, Munich, and Madrid. You guys have a long journey, but here we are, you know, at the end of the stop. And I'm excited to get to this with you guys, man. Uh, the last game, and I'm, I want to get a dub. I don't know about you guys. We took an L back there, but I want to get a dub. And here we are in Victoria, Spain, for the final step across the European game our last game together against a team of high-ranked three-on-three players. This is the big test we've been building up to. This is the final boss, that last level. And all of this has happened at the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Final Four. The biggest and most important moment in European basketball. I've seen in previous games, you guys still need to improve spacing, which is crucial in three-on-three. -three. If we're doing three-on-three, -three, obviously we need the spacing, right? We have some situations where we can score easier and we want to we want to make as many opportunities as we can to score easier because we're smaller, as you guys know. We need to make sure that, that we can get a few easy baskets, all right? Yeah. Here's the main thing though. When you guys go, do not get under somebody's foot. So it's really important that you get to that spot. Just spacing the trotting buckets that we talked about out of the little set that we worked on. I mean, especially when you set, if you set screens, you'll be wide open on a three on three. You know, you shouldn't get stopped in the three on three. It was very nice training with Devin uh, for the last time before our game tomorrow. This is my third Final Four. I've been to Istanbul in 2017. Belgrade 2018. It's a special event. The games are tough, the defense is hard, and it's when the best players show up. And then there's the fans. They make this unique. Now let's head to Fernando Buesa Arena to play some ball on the main court. We had a guest trainer as well. Ricky Rubio won the EuroLeague with Barcelona in 2010 before heading to the NBA. He's a master in pick and roll, so pay close attention so you can use it in the final game. You're one of the best in the world with pick and roll, and we play three on three, so we use a lot of pick and rolls. It's not about, in a pick and roll it's the same, it's not about the finish, it's about how it started. The pick and roll start before playing the pick and roll. So you gotta set up your man. So I'm setting you up to get the screen at the right time at the right place with no room for you. And that's the pick and roll. The pick and roll is to create advantage to just play two on one. So usually if I set you up, I already have the space and it just Two on one, you're already behind. Yep. You will come, you will come eventually, so the read gotta be quick. First thing you do is gonna stop me. So the, the, the pass is open, but you gotta pass to create another advantage. So if I pass it right away, he can come back right away, and there's not an advantage, right? Yep. But the advantage is created right before playing the screen. Before doing, uh, taking the screen, you gotta set him up. So you gotta create the advantage before the screen comes. If you start the roll before contact him, it's a roll. Yes. There's no illegal screen. Okay. If you start the contact before rolling, then it's a legal screen. There's a lot of rules that are like this close to be legal or illegal, you know what I mean? And the referee has like 0.2 seconds to really decide. It's about reading and knowing where your sweet spot at and get connected with the big are really important. Rudy got mad a lot with me in the beginning, and I got mad at him because he wasn't in the right spot. So it's something that you gotta be at the same time, and that's how you create chemistry. So you gotta know the strength of who you're playing against. Right. So if you play Steph Curry, there's no way you're going you under. No, you can't. Not even half court. Not, one thing for sure is making him think what you're gonna do. You know what I mean? Like if you're going under all the time, he's gonna, he plays in NBA. Russell Westbrook plays in NBA. He's gonna make a three. Mastering the pick and roll is one of the best things you can do to really play at the highest level. Yes.
Perez, get on that. Be ready to help, be ready to help. It didn't go well. We, we lost uh, because of uh, we didn't do our best, I think. They were moving so fast, we were swinging the ball. We weren't adjusted to it. It was fantastic, the atmosphere. Uh, it was nice, the game, attractive, with some players with quality. In this space, I think uh, it was perfect. They need to move a little, a little more without bowling. It's been, a, it's been a great journey so far, an amazing experience. I get to see a lot of places. Like being part of this Final Four and seeing like all the chaos and like everything that is going on and all the work that's behind, it was, it was really nice. So this whole experience of me being here and meeting the guys and just having fun with them, traveling around and playing basketball, it's been cool coaching them up. Taylor thought about it. Moscow.